closer so his audio can, he can fucking hear you. Nah, it should be okay. Really? Yeah, yeah, it should be cool. Right. Dude, just don't say a fucking word. <laughs> I feel like you guys, hey, hey, Alex, go over here because then you're going to distract me. Yeah, you're gonna no, I mean, you're good. No, you're fine. You're all fine. It's all natural. Let's do this and get it over with. I already was. I started. No, we're um, All right, for sure. Okay, okay. Power line, uh, risk interview. Um, all right, so fucking... Um, uh, let's see. First question. What's, uh, no, I'll do something else. Let's see. Fucking... Uh, you guys just played Unity Fest? How How is that shit? Fucking. It was cool, but it wasn't as cracking as we thought we would be because I didn't think we were going to open. But it was still a lot of fun. Word, yeah. And I feel like, I don't know, man. Like, we're just excited to fucking play more shows with all these fucking bands and shit. And hopefully we get another set with fucking uh, set list with Dead Heat. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, was dope. dope. Was I'm, ex- dope. I'm excited that dope. you guys got on, like, a Last bill minute. with Dead Heat. Yeah, I'm kind of happy about that as well. Um... Like, go into something like your history, like, because I know you guys for, like, a minute now, but I know you guys know, like, a lot of the uni fools, right? And, like, yeah. so is that, like, homies, some of the bands you play with, or, like, yeah, yeah, how long has that homies. been? Yeah. Because yeah. you're not, like, a skin band, but, like, you know, yeah, well, I'm a you rep that, you so, rep that, yeah, yeah and, like. Skins. No one else in the band, band is a skin band except for Landa. Okay. But everyone... Like, but but everyone's like, been friends with yeah. like Unity Crew. Uh, actually, yeah, Danny Unity just had us fucking play in San Jose at his pad, and you know, and like obviously, shout out you know, to Chato, shout out to Alex, New Breed Skinheads. Or, and is Unity is Unity all over California? Is it farther than California? Yeah, it's everywhere, man. So yeah. I'm barely getting to know everyone. So so it's like not just California, different states too. Yeah, and, it's everywhere, man. So okay, fucking but to risk so. Uh, I, what well, like what's up next for risk for like for risk are you full like length. for shows full yeah length. full length EP. we're gonna take a break after all these shows released in after 2020 all these shows we're on these flyers like that one more sorry guys but uh just gonna yeah. take a little bit to we're write break, maybe maybe, maybe we'll show break. here and there but we're just when gonna... the fuck are we taking a break <laughs> i mean hold on i'm not, not taking like a, a break, break but like you know we're fucking right dog break. what the fuck no we should practice that's what he means that's what he means we need to start getting our shit together like yeah honestly for like the times we're in now that's pretty good most bands like are lucky to practice once a week but it's everyone's schedules we've had a good run you know but we're you know we're everyone's schedules are everyone's schedules are contradicting like this one goes in this moses goes in at fucking two in the morning dude no, he works at six to six now. Yeah. Oh well, Moses works at six. Damn. Yeah. Damn. All right. Job. Well, yeah. Well, we need to work out schedules and shit. But anyway, yeah, we're we're gonna. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm re- I'm Shout really stoked on this. I just want to say that's a lot to write down. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's a lot to write down. Nah, well, no, no, you're good, bro. Listening. I take some stuff out. I get like sometimes the bulk of it. Whatever, you know. Like this, I'm not like gonna be writing down per se. You just lie about the whole. I'm just gonna write the whole thing, <laughs> just like in one one long like, thing. Um, <laughs> like some of the new songs, it seems like you guys not like taking like a new direction, but just like taking some like different sounds and stuff. Like, what's that? Is there like a new direction you're taking, or are you just trying to mix up some stuff for like the full length? Or because well, like you're different, crossover bro. and hardcore. Every song but... we play something different. Like Lucas always fucking comes up with like some crazy like funky shit or like I kind of like shit. I'm really since the start everyone knows like. And Moses, Landa, fucking Abby, like everyone's been down with like that whole fucking kind of crossover sound. Yeah. So right. like that's I feel big, like I've kind of been going Cali more for right that, now. you know, and just like literally bringing every type of music in there, or like every type of music that we fuck with, you know, like blues, like fucking, you know, yeah. that's why we got like. We were all calling you that, like, uh, uh, Chuck Berry today yeah. with the fucking oh, looking like Lucas the fifties and the Lucas Berry playing yeah. the blues. Yeah. notes. it's sick, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck, Chuck Lucas. Chuck Lucas. Chuck Lucas. <laughs> it's gonna be all over the place for this. Um, but okay, yeah, so speaking of the LP, LP the full length, the uh, fucking, you're going to be writing that, taking a little bit, when, like, when do you think, like, realistically that will be, like, Honestly, coming Honestly, we haven't out? even talked about, like, a fucking actual set date. Because you guys got like new songs, but, like, you haven't set to record yet or anything? We should do it. We should have it by fucking April, too, definitely. So, to be honest, I think we'll have it, be best to it too. Yeah, we'll have it, we'll have it very soon. February we'll be probably or sooner. December, why not? We're going to gonna be in the kitchen. Organizing yeah. This. yeah. And, and the album's gonna come in the Risk Kitchen. Like, include sure a lot of it. songs that we do know, that we already know, that we've been playing, and some new stuff. Yeah, too. some of the new stuff yeah, we've been playing. Because we're like, you know, we're on like we just kind of been lagging lately with like, you know, practicing and like not as much shows we were for a while because we were all busy, but. Fucking, uh, but I mean yeah, the demo. But I mean like, the demo didn't come out uh, like our EP didn't come out too too like long ago. They, so it's still. The, the yeah, demo came out in like fucking 
February or some shit. That would be this year, right? Yeah. yeah almost a year. Memo. Oh, shout almost out to Memo, too. You yeah. should fucking include him in that. Memo, yeah. Who's yeah. that fool? I think yeah. I met uh, him. Memo's the guy from Sigma Society. Society. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah he's it's a, a homie. Guy. He recorded us. So, like, shout out to, like, all the L.A. bands that he's recorded. Oh, that's like, the fool that records everyone. Yeah, yeah. He recorded a lot of good new bands, too. He did a really good job, and, like, he's a homie. Are you asking us about the demo? Um. Well, we were just talking recording and shout out, oh. shout out to Memo yeah, for we're, we're doing We're still the pushing demo. this demo. Like even till today, people are still finding out about us. People, yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know we exist. So. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not really a. Yeah, it's time. Sometimes even with the internet, you know, you well, don't you see everything happen. right away. You know. Yeah. But yeah, no. The more people I talk to, uh, some of them like are like I was talking to the Rod of Corrections dudes at the Powerline second release show right there and fucking. He was like, yeah, I, I got turned on to the wrist demo. Like, before I even mentioned that shit. So, fucking, yeah, that shit's dope. Even Gold, um, Gold gave us a shout-out, too, on some... Yeah, around. yeah, that was... Uh, I was listening to that podcast. That shit's hard. Oh, um, uh, shout-out to um, Chato. Who? Chato. Chato. We already shouted him out. <laughs> Chato, <I'm sorry. laughs> he, he's going to be in pictures. He's going to be in it. He'll, he's hey, going to be like, in that. Also, like, you should include, like... Shout out to Alex. Like, Chato's all We're also brother. like, you know, to let everyone know, man, like, we're not trying to play, like, 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 a certain type of show. We're down we'll to play everything, spot, man, like, metal shows. Fuck, we played ska shows band. before, oh, like, yeah. fucking yeah. punk shows. You know, we're open yeah, to we're everything, open to you know? Every like, we don't want to just, like, be stuck, like, to, like, a hardcore movement, you know? Because, right. like, we're, you know, we're, we're literally crossover, like, a mix of everything. Yeah, you guys are all, like, like big threats. So, I do, like, we just like to, we're open to shows, you know, like, we're open and playing with like any types of bands, really. You know, at least that we fuck with. You know. Yeah. yeah right now we're playing a lot of hardcore shows. But yeah, I that's why can, like yeah. I kind of want to include that. You know, like I don't want to just be playing hardcore shows. I want to play like everything, man. Like, cause right. dude, like I feel like a lot of us Thank like you, came from fucking like for sure. or like you know like going to punk shows and shit, man. I didn't go to hardcore shows. Well, for until, sure. Like, when later, I first you know? uh, found out about you guys, you guys were playing with bands like uh, like Diversity and Ten Thirty Four and like like hybrid. No, oh, not and hybrid. Not 1034, but like hybrid and shit. You no, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck Ten Thirty. I heard that. I heard their. Uh, yeah. we'll they're they're protected yeah. by their parents and shit. Yeah, we've already fucked one of them up. But we'll out of my again. memory, I don't ever remember playing with them. So. We've never played with 1034. I think uh, you're maybe on one flyer, but you dropped it. You nah, dropped we, that we show. Dropped it. If, if, like, we've never it was like High Ground and some other shit. I don't know. Diversity? No. Downside dropped on that show too. Yeah. At least I think. Downside's a homie too. Shout out to Downside. Downside. Downside's sick. Hey, Boogs, man. Fuck all those like fucking little people. Shout out to Boogs for the whole fucking ski mask thing. I kind of like. I guess the whole shout out thing, we'll leave it for the LP. We'll write a whole paragraph. Yeah, I mean, here and there. We'll wait. I'm trying to start beef. 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 I'm trying to start you know, we'll bring the energy, but man, like, we also try to be tight because we're all fucking musicians, you know? Like, yeah. this whole's been That's the thing, too. You guys like are all crazy tight as musicians, shit. whereas to some other bands, you know, it's like. I think the only reason why yeah. we sound good when we're drunk or fucked up or anything besides <laughs> sober <laughs> is because that, that we are just fucking. We try and practice every day on our own at least. You know? Yeah, yo, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listening to music and shit, you know? Yeah, I mean like no, yeah. I mean, we, we all listen to different types of music too. Like Abby's a straight fucking metalhead, dude. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, this kind of velocity and shit like that. He's a kind of. Of a I have I have history, you know. The, the well, yeah. To sidetrack a little bit, uh, Abby MK seventy seven two, you got that going on. Like, you've been drumming for a little bit. So, what's your like, uh, LA hardcore? A little bit of that, just like in a nutshell. And meeting the and meeting them. I was gonna add on to Lucas. I'm surprised that people even 
we're not even a year old, and we already have a big. Movie. I know, bro, but that's, that's crazy. That's the sign. Yeah, of I'm good, just like sometimes you know. I'm like fuck. people tell us like you guys sound sick. I'm like, bro. Like, I think right now is a lot of like reminiscent of like maybe like in the late '80s, early '90s in New York, where like there was so many good, cool, and like big and small bands, but just people making amazing music and like just all in this small amount of time. But this whole new hardcore scene, I'm, I'm new to all this hardcore. Cause I'm right, because you've been like more death metal, metal, metal and metal, metal thrash, punk scene a little bit. But I don't know, hardcore is kind of it's kind of like the same hardcore, hardcore punk. Amazing okay, but speaking of mentioning bands and stuff, next question is like bands, uh, bands old and new to mention. Old and new. Cryptic you know. Slaughter. Cryptic Carnage. Slaughter. Uh, let's do right. local bands. Local bands. Come no, on, just dog. just it's any old anything. New. Bands your, old and new. Your, your influences, dog. Hey, What's your it? drumming influence? Like any bands old and new right, that about, uh, inspire first, you right now? War Abomination. Shout out to Alex on bass for like two days. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> I was worried about it. Shout out to all of our colleagues that we're playing with right now, for sure. Yeah. But like, more Junior Front is fucking dope. First off, yeah. That's the reason. I gotta give it up. Like that's a, not even like that's a hard one. I, I'll, I'll text you. Um, what bands? <laughs> no, it's all it's all all in right now. Uh, I can't think of them right now. He's got so many, probably. But just like bands old and new that like you like or that mm. inspire you. Of course, Suicide Tendencies. Of course, XL. yeah. More Abomination. Yeah. Uh, Definitely Hybrid. XL. Dude, October 18th, Hybrid, their comeback show. It's gonna be at that same spot. Fucking influences. I think top influences for me, XL. ST. Fucking uh, Suicide Burp. Tennessee is definitely because I, you know, definitely like that whole fucking crossover scene. Like I focus all that, you know, Uncle Slam, all that shit from Venice and shit. You know, all that shit's sick. You know. But fucking, uh, I know it took me forever once I listened to uh, No Mercy I was like oh that's your profile yeah, picture yeah, it's the No Mercy no demo mercy. there's fucking sick too but like definitely like I love hardcore and shit too like yeah, all, all that New York hardcore shit like fucking uh, Chrome Mags and fucking Breakdown fucking Judge man. I feel like that's what it is like, it's like New York, York hardcore Venice. Yeah, with like, Venice crossover, too, crossover. Too, that's like, what the, the two posts like, meet together yeah yeah fucking Crumb Suckers and shit you know Crumb Suckers the dude from Dead Heat turned me on to them they're amazing bro Shout out to fucking dude, De- Dead Heat's fucking sick. Like, right? I feel Aren't like, they just like, I love them. Yeah, man, because like, you know, a lot of, I feel like a lot of hardcore bands have picked up like the same kind of sound, you know? Dead right. Heat, I think they they're stand fucking alone, unique, man. Still, That's like yeah. the definition of fucking modern crossover right yeah, there, bro, man. For like, sure. like, like they could play with a bunch of crossover bands, really but still like stand out. It's an honor out. to play with them. Like, really, be like, yeah, same be on the same, they're bringing you know? that thrash feel again. The thrash scene yeah. kind of died out. I was part of the thrash scene, so I know. And I heard Dead Heat, so they bring that thrash. Yeah. They're bringing that thrash back, so yeah. that's cool. If uh, you ask me, personally, Beyond Position, Possessed, like I said, Carnage, yeah. Tennessee, Neighborhood Watch, dude. That's my shit right there. I just won three dollars on my scratch. So Abby just won three dollars. Oh yeah. Hopefully I, I can get I'll get uh fifty like, cents of that. New York shallow, like leeway, like so, yeah, leeway, war zone. Yeah, bad ball. I was Horse. waiting for someone fucking, to fucking say uh, war zone, but of course. Geez, I mean God. what when we were on tour like three you guys were wearing war zone shirts at the yeah. same time. Like, hey, I was wearing this <laughs> yeah, yeah, was yeah, my jacket. Hey, that shit was wearing my fucking lower east side fucking sweater. Ray B's Um Rest in peace, Ray B's Rest in peace, Ray B's. Yeah, and yeah. the bees. Yeah. Um, and the bees. Uh, like for uh, the rest of the rest of the year, and then like early 2020. What are your plans? Like you, um, you guys already talked a little bit. We, but. you still have some shows booked for the rest for October. Yeah, here and there. Uh, maybe one in November. But like we mentioned, we're gonna take not a break, but we're not really just, just some time to write yeah, and focus. Just, yeah. Because we don't want to overplay it either, you know. For sure. I feel like all we're trying to do. It's just move up and we're willing to take like opportunities like we're all we're trying to do is just move up like we don't care in which way you know like obviously like we you know we represent where we're from we're, like <coughs> we're down to play with all these bands and shit you know as long as they're cool and like we fuck with them you know but like we're open-minded you know like we like playing all different types of shows and like yeah dude like you know hopefully like by 2020 or like 21 whatever it is you know like like fucking like the next few years you know like we're gonna fucking uh we're just trying to move up that's yeah, bro. We're really missing. We we need to play an, uh, a metal show for sure. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying, that. dude. We're trying yeah. to get like all different types of shows, fucking metal shows. I think too, you guys dude. will get that I'm, soon. I think we have a good reaction if we play a metal show. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like straight metal It would you know? be cool to bring that shit back up too, man. Because I feel like that's seems. Well, cool. I saw you tried to do that a little bit with the five star show, right? Yeah, with like Ravage yeah. Realm and stuff. So yeah. that one well. Dude, um, shout out to John from Ravage Realm and Leo. Those guys, I've gone way back with them. And it's been like way before I've actually known any of these guys. We, what are you just I just want to shout out to Ravage Rum. Ravage Rum. You know what I'm saying? They're my homies. Close homies. Um, I wrote this. Why are you guys so good? Why are you guys so good? How long have you been playing guitar then, Lucas? Lucas? Well, they got Lucas. I've been so. playing guitar yeah. since I was like, like a 10. Kid. 10, yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I started off playing like, um, like a lot of different stuff. Like I started off just playing like kind of like classic rock. You know, mm-hmm. I used to yeah. take lessons when I was younger. Yeah. And then I, uh, you know, I like when I was like in seventh grade, I was like 13 or something. And, like my fucking dad took me to a funny guy concert. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, and, like that really got me into the blues. So like I really, like I really picked up on that. I was really into all, like, all that like BB King, Stevie Ray Vaughan. You know, uh, you know Otis like, Rush? Yeah, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Like, dude, I love, dude, like, and fucking slow blues, man. Fucking, dude, it's like, killer. That's dude. why I like your blues riffs. I'm like, damn, I need yeah, to get. I that just, new song you have? Lucas, I'll very, pay him 20 bucks to teach, teach, give me some lessons. <laughs> but hell yeah, that's it. But yeah, and then, like, later on, like, I got, you know, like, when I was, I used to fucking hate wow. punk rock, dude. I thought yeah. that shit was so fucking annoying. And, like, until I was, so like, middle So maybe the crossover school, shit got one, you into that? Nah, dude, it was more like I got into middle school, I got into punk rock, and then, like, I was, like, fucking, you know... Then I, you know, like... I don't know, like, I just kind of, like, was doing my own thing, you know, like, just playing whatever the fuck I want. And I didn't have a band for a long time, you know? I got into another punk band when I was in, like, fucking, uh, like, 11th grade or something, maybe 10th grade, I can't remember. Yeah. But, uh, then I joined Risk when I was, like, senior year, like... Or, no, no, actually, it was, like, uh... We made Risk, me, Landa, fucking Abby, and then uh, it was just me, Landa, and Abby at first. Well, we take probably, risk. Yeah, we made it at like in take August. Risk. Take Risk, yeah. Originally it was Take, it was take, take risk. risk, yeah. We made it in like August or September around that time. And then fucking, uh, yeah, like I've known Moses for like a while, you know, like a good while. And like I remember me and him jammed with the homie Matt from Hybrid at uh, a homegirl's house. Like a we long ass time ago, dude. Up, yeah. We got all fucked up, and then we were fucked up in the morning too, bro. And we woke up. She had a fucking drum set, so we were just fucking all jamming there. It was me. That was my first time jamming with Moses. And then, like, I remember all of us. It was me, Moses, and Matt. I was like, hey, now let's make a fucking band. And then Damn. they were all down. And then, of course, that never happened because we we're a bunch of fucking laggers. But then, yeah, fucking, man. like months later, dude. Like after I was in risk, like then I hit up Moses, like because we were like, we need a fucking bass, right. man. I was like, right, cause fuck yeah, bro. And then I knew the, the first person that came through my mind was fucking Moses because we fucking jammed. And then yeah. the first time he fucking practiced, he picked up, man. Like, like you can ask everyone in the band, dude. Everyone picked up, like fucking Moses was like fucking chill with that shit, dude. Like, I felt so comfortable being in risk because the first time that I met him, I met Lando in the bus on the way there, and we were then we just. I've seen Lando on the bus before too. Nah, Isn't yeah, it funny? Like, right? I run into no, him. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. We were going to our first practice as like risk with Moses, and I caught the bus and I saw Moses on the bus, but I didn't know him, you know. And he had a, he had a motorhead sweater. I was like, hey, I like motorhead sweater. He's like, oh, thanks, man. And like, uh, I was like, oh, you go to Scott shows or like, you go to fucking shows, you know? Like, because I was like, I feel like I've seen him off. before. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then he was like, oh. and then he was like, uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to practice right now. And I was like, where? And he's like, Expo Studios. Like, uh, actually, she's a, she you're going to go practice with my fucking, you're going to go back to Riz, that's really Riz. crazy yeah bro. then he was like yeah man he's like i'm gonna oh, practice hey, with my boy lucas <laughs> and then i was like oh shit lucas is like we're you're in, you're in my fucking band what the fuck and then we're just talking oh, dude, yeah. the, the moment you got off the bus man i told him i was gonna meet my cvs i already see landed there i'm like oh y'all fucking know each other or something <laughs> yeah, that's and i was like crazy, we just bro. met on the bus right now type of shit you know? yeah i was like what the fuck that's man. funny bro it was cool he was chopping it up and like he had this sick hardcore book what book was it called bro that you were showing me about bro. I know, it's been you had it you were reading it yeah it was like american yeah, hardcore it's, american it's hardcore exactly that one it had the big old x on it, it was yeah. yellow, right? the fool yeah. with the blood on the yeah. front so, yeah that's that guy man yeah, that's trying, crazy yeah dude we were just talking about music pretty much yeah. the whole way there yeah, the whole you know we got just, to the fucking studio we practiced yeah. and it was just like natural as fuck yeah it felt good at least that you know what i'm saying because i think we just you don't have the flow you don't have chemistry or if you don't have that thing where it's like i don't know you just feel good and like adrenaline and that music and you're fucked. Your band shouldn't even be around. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, uh, before, like, last thoughts or whatever, fucking, um, what are you? oh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I think what we're good is because the mixture of our experience playing and it's just our drive, man. And yeah. And our chemistry. We I have chemistry say, in the band, outside the band, and 
not just because hey, I was gonna say with like shout out to Abby for making us organized too. Yeah, right. On top of our shit. <laughs> if we had a manager, it would be Abby. Right? <laughs> right. He, he is, is the manager. Because he has the most experience with this shit, and he's also the old, the oldest. So like, I yeah, he's like, been in the scene longer. Yeah, but it's I like do. some I bands do. put in like a lot of time, and like then that will kind of help them build. And then some bands are just really good, and like you guys are definitely a combination of both. But like the good thing is like maybe because you only been you say like yeah like a year or so but you've been getting like a lot of word from certain people um i think that's just like because you guys it's just genuinely really good music and you guys are killing it and then yeah a combination of the hard work too and like being like trying to trying to be as persistent and consistent as possible you know yeah you guys are thank you dude yeah that means more than i've been playing drums since i was 10 11 Shout yeah. out to Doyle for the interview. Ah. Shout out to Magnolia. Oh, we were sick. Shout out to Union Front. Shout out for going on tour with us. This can was get, always shout good for me. Yeah, shout oh, out to Doyle. Shout out to Gold. Shout out to fucking LA. LA base. Fuck I know I'm going to try to get uh, Gold on this cover. Shout out to Mitzi. Shout out to West LA. Shout out to Montebello. Shout out to Montebello. Shout out to Pico Union Hardcore. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask, I think, like, the last question, question I was going to ask before, like, just mention whatever, uh, like, what's your just, uh, general, uh, general ideas on, like, the hardcore scene in L.A., uh, like, just, like, your vibes and, like, thoughts and stuff on the, and your musings on, like, the L.A. hardcore scene as is right now, the people... Uh, the shows, oh, just the vibe. To, to that's really, just gay know? as fuck. No, Since right. I was 15, I've always fucking liked yeah. it. The karate the punk scene, Any fucking <laughs> other punk scene, I'll fucking dig it. I love getting yeah. fucked up, wasted, and watching the show and seeing my favorite guys play. So that's about it. That's what I do on the weekends. I don't do anything. I think else. Our, our band came out at the perfect time. Yeah, for I like sure. It was perfect it time. It's hot clothes. right now. It's hot right now. Right so, here. like, I feel like that people that dig our shit, man, like, whoever it is, like, that's sick. I don't care yeah, what, who it is, what scene, yeah. whatever. They, they go home and they're like, oh, fucking wrist was sick, you know. Yeah. Let's check them out. Yeah, and then that's how we build crowds. That's how we build motherfuckers already you knowing our shit and fucking yeah, trying to take a mic from me and shit, you know. Like, like me today? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like the <laughs> I've been in the metal scene for 10 years with Velocity, and I can tell you that it. I saw it die out completely to the yeah. point where, like, people didn't even care about the bands anymore. It was all about drinking in the parking lot. And it just the scene just went to complete garbage. Like, so this hardcore scene that we're in is just amazing because everyone supports each other. Even the bands they pit for each other, they get down, and it, that happened in 07, 08. It slowly died out. Yeah. And this new hardcore scene is dope. So this is all, this is all is new to me. The hardcore, like, Actually, yeah. Because I have more, yeah. So, but it mixes hey. the different cultures. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good scene. It's, we're like I said, we came out at the perfect time, with the perfect people and the perfect bands and the perfect just everything. Just, like it was, it was meant to be. Yeah, we feel like it was. Uh, all right, last uh, like last last comments. Just any say shout outs, mentions, anything last you want to say about the band or upcoming or just whatever. Shout well, anything. We're, we're trying to get a fucking we're trying to play everywhere all around the u.s like wrist is coming for you <laughs> yeah. and, and your fucking baby mamas and your fucking oh, that's after the show. grandmas that's your hot grandmas and your, your hot moms now we're just uh oh, shout, out to, shout out to all the skin birds too shout coming out to all, our, shout out to all our colleagues too. Number one. except except lucas of course Alex, I think. Shout out to New Breed. Shout out to fucking. Shout out to Unity. Brian. Brian. Shout out to Hybrid. fucking. Shout out, shout out to Dead Shout out to Unity. And Combat Shock. Directly awesome. and sincerely from. Moses. Shout out to uh, Angel Slam Records. So. Oh, yeah. Shout out. Fucking shout out to my fucking boy Angel. Yeah, he's he's been like. He's, been, he's been the guy yeah, in the shout fucking. Shout out to Lockdown, bro. Yeah, lo- Lockdown is fuck. Like, like I mentioned, they already you know. You know how. Yeah, like, like I said, yeah, we were, so, were so surprised how much of a reaction we're getting. Lockdown is getting that same reaction. Yeah, too. like they're, they're young and they have that energy. Exactly. Yeah, they, so. they're, they're, they're they could be, be old too, but it's just cool. no. Nah, they're, they're gonna be a fucking good band in the future. I know that. I know Angel. They're they're good musicians. They got their last performance at the Five Star they're, Bar. That they're was good amazing. musicians, man. They're fucking. <laughs> Your guys' Five Star performance was insane. I, I don't think the Five Star has probably seen anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the second time playing it. Like even when lip bands are playing there, you don't see stage dive. Or anything really yeah, crazy, bro. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, his, well, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Yeah, shout out to all shout our fans. Out, shout out to all the fucking skinheads, man. Like all the young skinheads getting into it. You know, like don't be afraid and shit. And just 
fucking make homies. Don't be a bitch, you know? Like, basically. Don't be a bitch, don't be a bitch like the homie Alex. Bad hey, yo, no, fuck Shut you, up. fool. What's up? <laughs> Shout out to all our fans too Because I feel like hey. Our lyrics Doyle. Is what You they... should get this in there All of us stand for the same shit Fuck oh, rack We're about our own shit No tolerance for that shit Racist yeah, We're racist. Fuck that shit Anti-racism Don't I'm, fuck I'm them scaled. up at our shows We don't give a fuck That's it I'm scared I'm scared Racism is a schism On a serious tip That's it That's actually what I And on that, on that <laughs> And an interview